Hi, this is Kara McNall, and I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And today we're going to make this gatefold card that uses a belly band. Uh, this one is still put together, and this one I, I've taken apart so I can show you the inside of the card. And the card looks like this. Um, this is using Bermuda Bay and a splash of Lemon Line Twist on the inside here. And then this card is using uh, Berry Burst with Lemon Line Twist and a little splash of um, the Berry Burst and Lemon Line Twist on the inside um, of the circle here. So let me show you the Occasions Catalog where you can find the stamp sets and this fabulous paper here. So it is on page, let's see, it's a two-page spread on page four and five. I'm not sure if you can kind of see this all, but it's um, called the Perfect or Picture Perfect Party Suite. So you, there's lots of um, pieces that coordinate with the stamp set and the paper. But for today, we're going to be using the Picture Perfect Birthday Stamp Set, and it's a photopolymer stamp set. There's 18 pieces to the stamp set and we're also going to be using this fabulous picture perfect party six by six designer series paper now i was really on the fence about um, purchasing this paper just because i wasn't really certain that i would really like it um, so i thought i would give it a try and i think i'm going to buy another pack of it it's so much fun so let me um show you the paper um, that um comes in the pack it comes uh, 40, let's see, 48 sheets. They're six by six, and you get four sheets of each pattern. So I'm going to show you the front and the back side of each real quickly here. So you got the, those, and then that's the back side. And we got the party hats in the coordinating color here. And just these fun circles um, that I used on the first card with the berry burst. And then this is the back side of the circle. And then we've got some donuts here. That would be really fun for, for guy cards, don't you think? Um, and this is the back side of this one. This one is really fun. I love it. Um, just so many options there. Um, back side of that is the circles. And we've got some fabulous balloons here. Aren't those fun? You could stamp um, the panda um, here in black and in call it good um, that's a that's a really versatile piece of paper there and then this is the back side very fun confetti like paper and here we've got some birthday presents all wrapped up and the good thing about this one is you can fussy cut these out and make them an embellishment on your card and the back side of the presents and then we've got a plate of sugar cookies here that's so cool. My husband would like those. And on the back side of those cookies are this, this other fun pattern here. And here's another one that you can cut out um, with your paper snips, um, 12, 23, um, or just two or three, doesn't matter. Um, or you can use it as is. And here's some stripes. And we've got some birthday candles. And just some kind of fun Oh, this is the um, back side of the birthday candles. And this is kind of a fun confetti look and the back side of this one. So today we're going to recreate the Bermuda Bay card using this piece of paper here. I can get one card out of one piece of paper here. So with this pack, you can make 48 cards. So... Um, I think it's a really good purchase. It's, um, it's like I said, very versatile. And I'm going to show you how to cut out the um, strips of the designer series paper. Um, so let me just move some things out of the way. All right, so for the designer series paper, the picture perfect, I'll bring my stamp and trimmer into the picture here. So what we want to be careful is, is I want to bring this in so you can see it. I cut the paper so that the pattern goes over to the other one, over th this side of the gate fold. So to do that, what you're going to want to do is you're just basically going to be very, just very careful and, and um, just uh, go slow while you're doing it. So right, the first piece I'm cutting is, um, let's, let's just cut it five and a quarter. And we're just going to cut a strip off. Now, we're going to keep this strip because we are going to be using it. 
So now we've got it five and a quarter. So now what I want to do is I want my pieces to be, we're going to rotate the um, panel and we want it to be one and seven eighths. So the next to last hash mark before the two. And we're just going to cut one panel. Then we're going to move this over and we're going to cut another one. So our pattern stays the same. So I'll bring this up here. So see this, this stays the same. So um, we'll put those aside together because we don't want to mix them up. Um, and then this piece is going to be cut, um, right now it's two and a quarter. Um, so that's what we want. And we're cutting the pieces that go on the belly band. So we're just going to rotate this and we're going to cut one and a quarter inch and one more at one and a quarter. Okay. So we've got two pieces for the belly band and we'll put those aside. Now this is the only piece that you are left with. So if you keep a, a bunch of these, you can create another card and I'll try to make another card in the future where I show you that um, what you can do with these. So we'll just put that one aside. Now this one that we first cut the strip, we're just gonna cut this down to four inches. So it will be used for the inside panel. So I'm picking this, I'm picking the um, section that has the most um, images on it. Okay, so we're done with the stamp and trimmer. Put that aside, and this is just the other scrap. So we are going to bring in our card base, and this is a piece of Bermuda Bay, and it is cut eight and a half by five and a half, and I've scored it on both sides at two and one eighth, and then I just turned it around and scored it again at two and one eighth. So we will bring in our bone folder, and we're just going to um, just give it a nice, good, crisp fold so it will lay flat for us. And then on the other side, we'll do the same thing. All right, so now we're going to add our designer series paper. Again, we don't want to get them in, on the wrong side. So let's just keep them here. I'm gonna flip it over and I'm just gonna run my adhesive on all four sides. And again, be very careful because you see see if you put it this way, it doesn't match. So you've got to make sure that you have them in the correct order. So we'll bring in our card base and we're just using a quarter of an inch border on all four sides. Now let's uh, bring in the other one and we'll just add our adhesive. And again, match it up in a quarter of an inch. Okay, so that's the front of our card and that's complete. And we'll put this aside. Now let's bring in our belly band. And the belly band is cut nine and three eighths by one and a half. And I have scored it at, I think it was two and a half, but let me just double check here with my ruler. Yes, two and a half inches on each side. So just um, bring it into your stamp and trimmer and just use a scoring blade, score it, flip it, and again, two and a half inches. So we're just gonna bring in our bone folder and just uh, give it a crisp fold. Okay, so there's our belly band. Now we're going to add these pieces of the designer series paper onto the belly band. And this really doesn't have much of a pattern to it, like the front of the card. It doesn't really matter so much. So we're just gonna add them on. And again, a quarter of an inch border on all four sides. I should have my silicone mat. I didn't think of that before. Okay, so that piece is complete. So let's go ahead and do our stamping. So we're going to create the belly band, which again looks like this. And I have um, used the stitched circle and the layering circle framelits. And I cut them out ahead of time. So here's our Bermuda Bay piece, and then here's our white. So we are going to need to use our Stampin' Pierce mat to stamp because it is a photopolymer stamp, stamp set. 
and we just need a little bit of cushion there. So I'm going to bring in my Memento Black ink and we are going to be inking up the sentiment. And I just added ink to my ink pad, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna get. So let's give it a try. Hopefully it'll be nice and dark. And we'll just press. And there, that looks pretty good, nice and dark. All right, so we're actually done with the Memento ink, so we can um, put that aside. The next ink colors we're going to be using are Lemon Lime Twist and Bermuda Bay. Again, the, both of those are in um, that, that designer series paper. So we're going to create those like confetti-like images around the circle. So I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to do one color first and I'm just going to splatter it all around here. It doesn't really matter where they go. Lemon line twist is coming on first. So now I'm going to need to bring in my um, my stamp cleaner here and just clean the, my stamp because I don't want to um, put that lemon line twist in the Bermuda Bay. So I'm just going to bring in the Bermuda Bay and just mix it in um, just like it's a party. Okay, I think that's pretty good. So we are all set with that stamp. The next thing we need to do is bring in a piece of Whisper White, and this is just scrap, and the bow that's in that stamp set. Um, and I'm going to ink this one up in Bermuda Bay. And we'll just stamp it here because we're going to fussy cut this piece out. Okay, so we'll let that sit there. And now for the inside panel, um, we're going to stamp it with, let's see, what does this one say? Um, happiest of birthdays to you. And I'm going to stamp that in Bermuda Bay. Right in the middle. And now we're going to bring that bow back into the picture. And I'm just going to stamp it up with Bermuda Bay. And I'm going to put one over in the left corner, one down here, and one up here in the top right corner. I always like to do um, odd numbers. It's a little bit more pleasing to the eye. All right, so we are all done with the ink pad, so let's close those up so we don't make a mess there. All right, so our next um, step is to add this piece of designer series paper to the bottom here, just to jazz up this a little bit more. Now you could use either side, but I'm gonna stick with the pattern um, that we have on the front of the card. So let's get these out of the way. And we are going to bring in our adhesive and we're just going to run a strip down the, on the back side. And we are just going to add this, kind of looking at my pattern here. And we're just going to add it to the bottom. And now we're just going to run adhesive to, on the back side at the top. And we're going to add it to the inside of our card base. Again, we've got a quarter of an inch border on all four sides. So that's the inside of our card. That is complete. Now let's put together the belly band. We're going to take our paper snips. And I've got mine here. They come, the paper snips come with this nice little cover here because they are quite sharp. Um, so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this piece off because we don't really need it. And now you're going to just watch me fussy cut. Hopefully it won't take me too long. So when you're fussy cutting, all you want to do is basically you're moving the paper and squeezing down on the handles of the scissors. So basically you're just twisting and turning just to keep that nice fine um, cut going along the image here. Almost done. 
I just got a little wide there, so I just want to start over here and just bring it down in. Okay, there we go. Okay, so what we want to do next is um, we're going to put a dimensional on the back side of the bow just to have that all set and ready to go. And let's bring in our belly band in our card. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this, this um, layering circle and we're going to add the stamped image to it with our adhesive. And this is just going to go right down there in the middle. And then we're going to flip this over. Now I'm paying attention that this is straight so I know that the stamped image is here because I only want my adhesive to be on the right and left side of this piece if we put it up here then it's going to stick to the card itself which we don't want to happen all right so let's put the belly band on now um, it doesn't really matter which side goes on which it's just by preference so I like I like this image but it's going to be covered mostly it's going to be all covered up um, so I'm centering this piece um, to the center of that card the card where it closes. Okay, so that's on there. Oops, I think I got up maybe a little bit of a piece of too high. So if that happens, yeah, I got a little bit right there. So I'm gonna bring my eraser in, and I know Stampin' Up doesn't sell these anymore, but I'm I'm lucky to have one. Um, so it just takes off that adhesive, and I've got a little bit down here too. See, I don't edit my videos, so what you see is what you get. And if I make a mistake, you'll see me um, fix my mistake. Okay, so that's good. Let's bring this back into the picture here, and we'll just slip our belly band on. And you'll just have to bend that card just ever, ever so slightly. And it just slides on real, real carefully there. And now we're going to bring in the bow and just release that back side of the dimensional and it doesn't really matter which side you put the bow on it's just by preference so I'm going to just put it on this side and now the last step is to bring in our wink of Stella and we're just going to glitter up this bow just to make it shine a little bit and just add a little bit more detail to the card now when you when you're coloring in with the wink of Stella if you're ink is still wet you've got to be really careful because you want to make sure you stay in the lines or else it's going to go into the whisper white all right so I'll bring this up to the camera I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it or not I'm filming at night so it's it's really hard to tell at night but there is lots of glitter on on that bow so it just makes it extra special so here's the card we just created Here's the one using the berry burst and the belly band and the inside of the card. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. For all your stampin' needs, please visit my website at Inspired by Graham. Thank you for watching and have a great day.